Explain these house numbers to me, will you? I'm looking for number 43. 43, that's right round the other side, mate. It's that grey house on the corner. <laughs> I've just driven past there once. Who are you after? Cathy Beale. Oh, it's Mitchell these days. She got married a couple of months back. Yeah, I did know that, actually. It just uh, takes a bit of getting used to. Listen, if she's not in, try the calf down on Bridge Street. It's where she works. All right? Cheers. Up, you mate. Looking for Kathy Mitchell. Yeah, she runs a cuff around the corner. Yeah, I know that. Just thought I'd try her first. Oh. Nice clock. Yeah. When do you expect her back then? Don't you tell. She went out buying things for the new house. She's moving? Only across the road. Well, no hurry. I'll stick around, see what's what. Pick up a bargain or two on the market. Housewarming present, maybe. Can I give her a message? No. Let's keep it a surprise, shall we? Oh, thank you. Oh, you're back then. Oh, are these in? Mm. Australia? Hmm. Just like looking at the pictures. Yeah. Well, fancy some of this, though. What do you reckon? Mm. Uh, I saw someone on the square just now that looks the spitting image of Ted Hills. Why? Hmm. Dare show his face round here. <laughs> You're not taking me seriously. At my time of life, darling, anyone gives a compliment, I take them very seriously indeed. You're a very attractive woman. You've got a sparkle in your eyes that a fella can't help but respond to. <laughs> You're a smooth talking old so and so, aren't you? So, you don't live in London anymore. You're glad about that. What does the song say? Regrets, I have a few, but then again, too few to mention. Mars will like that song. Does he not anymore? I wouldn't know. He's dead. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. Do you think this is a good idea? Yeah, don't let me down. What's your problem? I ain't got a problem. Get me a vodka and tonic and a pint of lager for me boyfriend. Coming right up. See, I told you. Told you what? She can't be on a diet. Who said I was on a diet? Ricky did. But I said, no, she can't be, didn't I? She always stuff in your face, isn't ya? Why should I be on a diet? Do you hear that? Why should she be? Do you call yourself a model? Come on, Ben, and leave it, 35, will you? please, Ricky. And look at that. Short measures and all. You're about as good as a barmaid as you wear a model, aren't ya? All right, why don't you leave it alone now, eh? And remind me, which magazine covers you featured on lately? Listen here, freckle face. Yeah, I like my freckles. How do you like being a failure? But anchor, that's enough. Don't oh, you dare. Minute. What was it you done working the chippy, wasn't it? What'd you do? Quick, Excuse you... me one oh, moment. Ricky, why sure. don't you tell her? Just tell her. Shut up. You all right, Sam? Mm. What happened? Nothing I can't sort out. What happened? Nothing's just a jealous bitch, isn't she? Takes one to know one, doesn't it? All right, get out of my pub until you can learn some manners. And Mitchell, with manners? Please. Come on, Ricky. Come on! Tell her she can come back when she's calmed down and says sorry. Listen, I'm sorry, she's just a bit uptight. Very impressed. Where well, you handled that? <laughs> my old man was a boxer. Huh? Wait, I want a word with you. The mother. I beg your pardon. What can I do for you, Carol? Bianca just tells me you just slung her out of here. I didn't sling anybody anywhere. I requested she leave because she was causing a disturbance. Your daughter insulted her. I never said nothing. She you decided. shut your mouth. Leave this to me, Sam. And I won't tolerate that kind of language in here. Your daughter is a scheming, malicious little tart with the morals of an alley cat. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to leave too. You see, her trouble is she can't bear it that Ricky prefers Bianca to her. So she steals her best mates and starts sniffing around David Wicks just to try and make her jealous. You leave her alone. David is a gentleman. Sorry? David? So which David is that? David Wicks, a gentleman. He, he only ever goes with tarts. You ask anyone. Well, you should know, Carol.
<laughs> oh, Phil. I just sobered up a bit before I come home. What's going on? He drank the old bottle. <laughs> we was driving. I showed him the house. So what's going on? Who's his keys has been running around up the all day? We're not jealous, are you, Phil? <laughs> Surely not. Who was he? Come on. It was Ted. My big brother. And my brother can beat up your brother any day of the week. <laughs> Come on, I'm taking you home. Not till the room stops spinning, eh? <laughs>